Hi guys, Michael Fights of Friends. I will be streaming on Mike Reviews at all tonight. It's already scheduled at 6.30 p.m. So go over there and check in. Uh, the link to that channel is down in the description. Uh, if you don't know by now, Fights of Friends streaming was suspended for 90 days. Uh, it'll be back November 19th. I'm taking that as an opportunity to build my other channel there, though. Let's go through tonight's card, though, real quick. Um, I go through my picks. Uh, I got Aaron Pico, even though I think it's his biggest, uh, biggest challenge to date. Uh, you know, coming up next, uh, Andre Korshkov versus Douglas Lima could be not just fight of the year for Bellator. That could be fight of the year for all of MMA. Uh, it's the third fight. Andre Korshkov won the first one by unanimous decision, dominating uh, Douglas Lima. Caught him, knocked him out in the second one about a year and a half ago, and now we're going to see the trilogy. I pick Andre Korshkov. Uh, he'd only had one loss before the Douglas Lima fight in his entire career. I just think that he's a fighter that's not going to get caught by the same punch twice. I see this fight kind of like Khabib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor. They're not quite at that level, but it's like if Douglas wins, it, he's going to catch Korshkov coming in. And if Korshkov wins, it, I believe it's going to be a dominating, suffocating performance. Uh, he's going to drown Douglas Lima in the later rounds, and he might finish him off, especially since I think Douglas Lima will come in quickly after the last fight. And I can't blame him because I think that might be his only chance. Let's get into the trilogy fight between Quentin Rampage Jackson versus Vanderlei Silva. They say you're a different person every seven years. Uh, in the fight game, I like to say you're a different fighter every five years. And that's not a hard and fast rule. Um, more of the time, I think it's a shorter amount of time than longer. But the reason I bring that up is because it's been five years since either one of these guys has been great. It's been five years since Rampage Jackson left the UFC. It's been five years since Vanderlei Silva had an impressive win, his knockout victory over Brian Stan in 2013. I have no idea what to expect from these guys. Quentin Rampage Jackson is 40 years old. Vanderlei Silva is 42. I know Vanderlei's training. I don't know how much Rampage is into this. Uh, now, Rampage Jackson in the past, especially lately, has complained about consistently being matched up against wrestlers. And he's very frustrated by it. If I was his coach in this, I would tell him to become the wrestler tonight. That's his key to victory against Vanderlei Silva. If he does not do that... I believe Vanderlei Silva wins uh, either by a decision or a knockout. I do think this would be a good fight. I do think there's going to be some fireworks. I do think you're going to see some guys suck and win tonight, though, as they're getting older. I think more Rampage than Vanderlei Silva, even though Rampage is two years younger. And I just, I think Vanderlei Silva's got more fire left than him. Uh, these guys fought three times. Vanderlei Silva won the first two in pride. Of course, Rampage came back and knocked him out devastatingly in their last fight in the UFC. That was 10 years ago in 2008. And it's probably the main reason that the odds makers have Rampage such a big favorite. He's almost a 3-1 to one favorite. Well, it's like a minus 260. It's two and a half. Uh, I'm actually going to pick Vanderlei in this one. I just think he wants it more. I don't think Rampage wants to fight anymore. Um, I think it was a telling sign this year. He actually said he wishes he would have never fought MMA. And I don't think you can beat a guy like Vanderlei Silva unless you're going to out-wrestle him, which I don't know that his pride will let him do that. Um... I don't think you can beat a guy with that intensity with one foot out the door, especially in a striking match. So I'm going to pick the underdog on that one. I got two favorites so far, and I got the underdog, Vanderlei Silva, and the next one, Gegard Masasi versus Rory McDonald. This is the best card on paper Bellator has ever put on, by the way. 
Uh, Gegard Masasi, of course, the light heavyweight champion. Uh, Roy McDonald coming up from welterweight. Big props to Roy McDonald for coming up. Let's start out with Gegard Masasi. Uh, this guy is one of the most technical calculating fighters in the history of MMA. What's given him issues in the past, though? I believe it's speed and explosiveness. Uh, Uriah Hall knocked him out very quickly. He got caught. He's a slow starter. Everybody knows that. Uh, he fights at a slow face, pace, period. Uh, and do I believe Uriah Hall is a better fighter than Gegard Masasi? Absolutely not. And I don't think any of you think he is either. If they fought again, I think Gegard adjusts, and I think he gets that win fairly easily. But when you got a guy like Rory McDonald, uh, the reason these odds are so far out there, um, these are over 2-1 to one odds in favor of Gegard Masasi too. Uh, well, one is a record. Gegard Masasi through the years has just been absolutely incredible. He's the first guy to ever be a champion in the U... Uh, not the UFC... I believe it was Pride, uh, Dream, Bellator, and Strike Force. So I believe he was the first one to ever be a champion in all four of those. So that you know that that says a lot. And he's still young, even for as long as he's been fighting. I think he's 33. I don't have my notes in front of me right now. Uh, Roy McDonald, though, very rarely. Uh, do you get a guy that has a combination of good striking and wrestling, but more importantly, speed, power, explosiveness, patience, cardio, and intensity that this guy possesses? Uh, I think he's going to put a pace on Gegard Masasi that's going to be very, very hard for him to deal with. Gegard could definitely end up picking him apart. Uh, it could be an ugly fight the other way. Uh, that's definitely a possibility. But I got to go with Rory McDonald in this one, actually. I think he's going to be too explosive. I think he's going to put a pressure on that Gegard Masasi's just not going to be able to keep up with. Uh, Gegard's got to make Rory fight his pace. Roy knows it, and I just think Roy comes in 100 miles an hour, and I think he gets the victory. Let me know what you guys think there down below. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely go over to Mike Reviews at all, and make sure you subscribe over there. That's where I'll be streaming the fight tonight, starting at 6:30. I'm gonna put the link down below to describe to subscribe to Mike Reviews at all. Uh, thanks for watching another video. Let me know what you guys think. I want to know what you guys think, and as I'm working today, I'll do my best uh, to answer all your questions in the comments. Um, as always, I love you, I respect you, and I'll see your fine asses tonight.